What's up, guys? It's Raf. In the Raf Cave, welcome back to another LG GX CX video. Now, today is a big day because a new firmware update just came out, and it's two major updates. First one, let's check it out. Oh my, this is good. <sighs> First one AMD FreeSync Premium is available on this download. That's big number one. And then big number two. Next Gen TV. That unlocks the ATSC 3.0 tuner inside the TV. So that means if you're in like Salt Lake City or some other uh you know specific, you know, special city that just enabled uh, the 3.0, you can take advantage of 4K over your antenna right to your TV. I made a video about that there if you want to check it out and also made another video about the AMD FreeSync a couple of them actually uh, but man this is big so what you want to do is you want to check your firmware of your TV and you know how to do that right all you do flip my camera here all right this is my uh, webcam it's not gonna look that good so basically you're gonna go to your menu you go down to support See the mouse you see it right okay support you go up to software update right now I have 3.0070 you want to go check for updates oh man no updates found all right then so then you can go to LG's website boom software and drivers and then I'll leave a link in the description below where you can go to this website and you got to put in the model number of your TV. It's going to be the CX or the GX. And you're going to get the uh, the software update guide here. It's a PDF file. And then you also get the actual zip file of the uh, firmware. This is going to update Apple AirPlay improvements, support AMD FreeSync, sport alert improvements, which is good because that doesn't work. And there's no sports right now anyway. And there it is, support of ATSC 3.0 in the GX model only, which is a big reason of why I traded in my CX to go to the GX, because I want that next gen capability. Fantastic. So these are all the model numbers that you can you can do. But now, once you download those two links, you're gonna want to uh open up that PDF file. And then it gives you instructions on what to do. Go to the website, you download the link. Now it's very important that you want to make a folder named LG underscore DTV. Now that's a folder you put in the root of your USB drive. And that's where you actually put the firmware uh, file in that folder. So what I did here. Here, hold on. Here. So basically you got the PDF file over here. You see that, right? Then you have the software uh, uh, firmware file here, and when you extract it, you'll get um, you'll get this you'll get this file right here inside the folder. Okay, so what you want to do is copy that folder onto your USB drive inside the LG underscore DTV folder. Click on it. There it is. Right. So that's that's what we want to put on the uh, USB stick and then plug into the back of the TV. And we're going to do that right now. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera, and we're going to plug it in, and switch my camera here, boom. Right there, okay. Go to the back of the TV, what's up y'all? Go into a USB port, back of the TV, with the file, boom. What we got? Well, sort of the latest version of the software is available for your TV do you want to update now to version 3.10.20 yes you can connect WISA speakers do you want to connect them now um, I thought they were connected but okay software update is in progress please do not unplug USB stick or power cord 
You can check the update status in the settings. There's the updates, update in progress right here. Oh my, this is awesome. Free sync guys. Now this came out, this is out earlier than expected. Switch camera. The free sync update is out way earlier than I, th I thought. I was actually on stream yesterday talking about this, that it'd be better that we wait a little bit longer until the next gen consoles are fully out, out there and, and, and specs and the spec sheets on both systems are out. Everybody can dissect it and you can see exactly what you know the free sync capabilities are. Man, we're getting it now. Free sync premium is here. So anyone with uh, free sync you know, devices can check it out and see if it's awesome. I don't think I can. You know what I was saying before about free sync and the LG GX made a video about that. You know what I'm talking about. Ghostface Raph. Huh? WebOS. Two PC. Your TV software has been updated. Holy cow. All right, holding down the gear button here. Check our conversion here. Port, software update, 310.20, boom. I don't know exactly uh, what's changed. Picture settings. Holy cow, there it is, guys. AMD FreeSync Premium. Right there. Wow. I can enable it if I want. All right, here we go. AMD FreeSync Premium. There it is, guys. We activated it for the only HDMI port I'm using, so that's on. And that's great. Um, as far as the ATSC tuner goes, That I'm not sure of because I don't have an ATSC uh, station in my city. So those of you that have the uh, channels in your area, have fun, man. Enjoy the new channels in 4K. All right. Well, guys, there you have it. Hopefully that's helped you out. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download the file. Go ahead and update your TV. Get that free sync going. Um, Apple stuff improved in the special cities that have the next gen tuner activated take advantage of it and let me know how it is all right guys thanks for watching this video like subscribe share home theater rules this lg tv gx rules you guys have a great day home theater rules peace out see you